Yeah. Welcome to the Nomadic King channel. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today I'm joined with Watching. And uh, we are about ready to start a first house in this new series of drywall work vlog videos. So if you like this kind of content, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know that you're interested in these uh, videos. Here we are. We've got some 54 inch drywall. We've got some 48 inch drywall that will be on the ceilings. We're coming through the front door right now. Looks like we have some sort of den or a bedroom right here to the left. We got a bathroom right here. We got another room right here. We got a basement that we will not be doing, but we will bring the uh, drywall down to the end of the, the door down there. This looks like we have a living room, dining room, kitchen. This will be a pantry. And what do we got here? We got a laundry room that goes out to the garage. And then we have the master bedroom back here. Master bedroom is not too bad of a size. Some good windows. Yeah, decent view. Got some guys out there doing siding. We have our helper today, Miss Yuk Ching Wong. Now that that air compressor is off, we will go into the master bathroom, which is right here. Looks like we will have dual sinks, a toilet, a shower, and this is the walk-in closet that also takes you to the laundry room, making a complete circle. Pretty small house, about 150 sheets. All right, guys, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. This is all we got done yesterday. I think a total of three sheets and they're not even screwed off. Had a huge problem with those benches, basically not even being usable for benches. Had a hard time actually setting that up because I didn't bring some tools to put it all together. I only brought one battery for all my uh, tools, so we only had one screw gun going. I had to switch it between router and screw gun. So we got ourselves an actual drywall bench, some long legs. We had to make sure we had all of our batteries. So I got a couple batteries. I basically have three batteries, one for each screw gun, one for a router. So intermittently, we're gonna have to switch probably the router battery to the screw gun and charge the one screw gun battery that's dead so it's still going to be an adventure. We're definitely starting out rough. I thought I could do it cheap and simple, but I may have to just go ahead and uh, upgrade my uh, weaponry. Uh. All right, guys, this is day two or day two and a half, if you count that first uh, waste of a day we had. How was mm -hmm. yesterday? How did you do? I thought I was okay. A little sore right now. And what did you do yesterday? What did I do? Put screws put screws in the ceiling so we got yeah. the whole ceiling screwed off right now and um, yeah she did pretty good on pattern did a few wall pieces we've got all the flats done we'll show you inside here in a minute but we are going to be hitting the walls today doing all the 54 bring the stairwell down and then we're going to try getting started in that peak area that's the goal tomorrow we'll be wrapping up the garage and probably screwing everything off and making sure everything's looking good really tomorrow is our goal finish everything that's i mean that's the goal yeah but it'll probably be a saturday finish okay mm. um we're not very good right now we got to get better um you know way out of shape and uh i need to get back into the drywall drywall roll of things plus Work Ching Wong over here is doing pretty damn good. Really? Yeah, for being, you know, a never done construction in her life. She's definitely not a construction girl. Cutest drywaller I've ever seen. Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> All right, guys, this is it. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably not my best work. Boxes do look pretty clean. I'd say the house is kind of crooked, but you know, I do have to take some sort of fault in anything. Like, you know, what the hell is that? Jeez. I'm sorry. I'm sorry in, in advance. This is what we got done right now. Back closet kind of just had her doing some screws in there. And I hung all this lid and she tacked it up, screwed it off. I had to move this stack to get my lift back there to finish this lid. So I pre-cut a bunch of stuff. That's why you see sheets just sitting back there. This is where we started the other day. We had the three sheets up. And we went from about here all the way um, around the, the house. To be honest, I think we only did like 20 sheets 
Um, it was more difficult than I thought to use this lift in some of these smaller areas. Probably just have Yuk Chin working with me for a little bit. So she'll be taking care of some of this lighter stuff and I'll be using that lift for a while. We'll make it work until I get a few other guys to uh, build this crew out. Guys, it's seven o'clock. I'm beat. Stayed as long as we could possibly stay. We got all the flats done. We have this little peak in here to do in the morning under the stairs and the garage. Everything else is basically done. A few things need to be routed and uh, wrapped. That's basically it guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll show you the rest of the progress when it's not fading light. All right, we're basically on day three. We have the peak and down the stairwell to do today and then hopefully we'll make it into the garage. And tomorrow we'll be finishing this thing up if we don't get it done today. How late did we stay yesterday? Till seven or we, something? We worked like 12 hours yesterday. You yeah. know, we're a small crew, so it's taking a little bit longer, but um, we are making some improvements. I'm gonna flip you guys around. We'll go walk through all the stuff that we did yesterday and then uh, we'll get unloaded and get back to work. You know what? Lifty Swifty has showed up every day. Now I've never actually used a lift on a vaulted ceiling, so this is a first. I think I'm gonna start from the peak coming down. Hopefully that's a good idea. I'm not too sure. You know, maybe I'll figure that out and we can do a video on it. But we're just gonna do some trial and error today, get this done. But what we did complete is all this back here. We've got this stairwell to a manageable level. We'll go to the end of that door down there and we'll also do underneath the stairs a little bit later. I still have some routering to do. But this bathroom is done. Yeah. A little bit of routering. And this room's finished out. It's all gonna get wood wrapped, so that's cool. I still have this dense glass to do or a tile board and then we have this smaller room same thing needs to be routered we're only working with the three batteries we're gonna probably pick some batteries up we can't we can't bare bones it that's just a waste of time at this point we've got the laundry rooms finished out this closet for the master we have a little pooper in there for the pocket door. Pooper and pocket door. This is where that tile board is gonna go. Okay. And this is the bathroom. This is the master bedroom. I did router out all those windows kind of at the top just to give us some light, but there's some more router in to do. It's pretty sweet actually, you know. We get a uh, fairly nice view, you know. Oh, forgot to even say hi to you guys this morning. I'm going to start out down here in the basement. We'll flip you around, show you what we've done, and uh, what we're going to finish out today. All right, we have underneath the stairs, we've gone and wrapped all the way around. Just guess this is supposed to prevent a fire. I don't know. It uh, seals in the house upstairs, and then you get this unfinished basement. And we got Yuck Chin working upstairs. We've got the stairwell. It's all done down here. Now up on this side of the house, the main level. We still have a bunch of screws to put in, like right here. No windows are wrapping, so that's good. Here's Yuck Ching working away. Here's that main room we tackled yesterday. And that lift actually worked pretty good. Pretty good throwing this whole lid up here. You know, probably not my best work. I'm not exactly excited to sign my name on this one, but gotta get back into it somehow. Got wind blowing through. Hopefully you don't get wind sounds. I do have to throw a little strip of 
green board or blue board up at the top here. This is the tile for the shower. It also needs to be screwed off still. And we got some pocket doors that need to be finished out. That's pretty much it guys. Next step is to get this garage cranked out, which I'm going to be doing. There's my tool bags. And we got lifty, swifty lifty. And we'll be busting this guy out. I'll try to do a uh, workflow, but no promises, man. Got the little hot rod all loaded up and the house is finally finished. Let's go ahead and take a walk on through. We've got the garage done. I did use the lift for the walls, the ceiling, and in the peak when we go inside there. I was pretty surprised I was able to use the lift for all that stuff. We will be doing a video probably on just Swifty Lifty later in the future. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more lift action videos. But this is how the garage turned out. Not too bad. We're all done screwing, right? Whoa. Okay, how was it, Yuk Ching? Stronger than yesterday. Oh, wow. Stronger than yesterday. Hey, let's take a look at the house. Uh, we did finish it up. I don't know if we walked through or not. I'm not too sure where we are at on these. Oh, man. We'll, uh, we'll edit that out. Okay, guys. This is the first house I've hung in probably three years, right? And Yuk Ching, you've never even touched a screw gun before, have you? Yeah, it was so heavy. Just <laughs> what was your favorite part of hanging this house? Was there even a favorite part? Did you like any of this? Um... <laughs> That's a no. What was the worst part? <laughs> you don't even want to say? She don't even care. She's fine. Were you happy being here? Did you enjoy doing it? Do you want to do another one? I'm thinking seriously my favorite part is put the screws in the right spot. She had to get the screws right. All right, we've got the, we've got the shower all put together right here. This was kind of a crooked house, to be honest, and I think it came out okay for being just, not exactly crooked, but you know, half inch there, one inch there. Looks like we got Machine Gun Kelly on the screw gun. As you can see, it's kind of blasted everywhere, but we did sweep through the whole house together, made sure there wasn't any clickers or any missed screws. Again, got a little gap in that corner. It's so weird because, you know, you're tight all the way here, and then right here, you can see that we get a gap. And that's really weird because down here, we got a straight line. And then, and then right here, you got the gap in that top, but you're tight there. So, I mean, I'm not gonna say that it wasn't straight, but maybe my, maybe my drywall's crooked. I don't know. This one came out better. All right, that one came out pretty good. All right, guys, let's go swing through. Here's the peak. I think we already looked at this, but here it is, it looks good. I can't believe I was able to use the lift for this and I actually came top down. They're gonna do all wood wrap, so that's awesome. I don't wanna have to do a bunch of drywall wraps. Yuk Ching, anything else you wanna add to this vlog before we wrap it up? It's a tough job for a woman. Tough job? The woman is so tough. Are you sore? How are you feeling? Uh, <laughs> yeah okay and then uh so we've been working basically the last couple days straight together and definitely been pretty beat so we're looking forward to the next house we've got one lined up in a couple days we're gonna get this video out to you and uh hopefully you guys enjoy it what are we just showing <laughs> oh yeah how ugly this came out oh man whoo Said Machine Gun Kelly stopped by and blew up the place. So that's pretty much it, guys. You know, this is the first step in the adventure. Isn't, isn't you know, probably the best house that I've ever done. This was actually a very easy house, so it was kind of nice that this was our first house. And I think uh, Yuk Ching's going to go ahead and join me on the next house, right? Yeah. We'll find some workers. We'll find some cool people to add to the crew. I'm not too sure who it's gonna be or what. People keep asking about the Squanch and uh, he's living his life. He's, he's working for some other people. We may have him do some guest appearances, but he probably will not be 
a uh, staple member of the show, at least for right now. Four sheets left over. This is our little butthole. It is what it is. The next one will be a little better, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> okay, and she did not wear this. She actually has like this, uh, like sh closed shell. She has a shell that she puts on, and then she wears that underneath. So she's got her like nice fancy clothes. See you on the next one. That's gonna wrap this video up. Like, share, subscribe. I'm pretty sure you already know how YouTube works. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.